these processes, uh, to some extent, are real. Okay, and they're real because I'm going to simplify it for you because it's going to take away all the mystique. I don't know what you think or believe, but I'll just share with you what I, what I know. Uh, there's a huge power in vis visualization. You see, for all of us, you know, if you tell yourself, if you visualize something, you just do way better. You know, one time I used to beat a guy all the time in class, beat him all, and he never ever beat me ever. And I went on a weekend vacation, came back, went to class, and he beat me smart. I was a brown belt. And I was like, what in the world? I said, I took him I said, how did you beat me? Tell me, your, I mean, how did you do that? And he says, honestly, I didn't try. I said, oh, don't give me that. The sensei helped you and showed you how to beat me. He goes, no, he didn't. He goes, you know what I did? He goes, I spent all weekend thinking about how you beat me and what you do and your moves. And then I thought to myself, I'm not going to let you do that. And then it was all in his mind. He, the whole thing in his mind. That's visualization. So if you visualize, you know, I'm not going to be knocked down, and you put your mind there, believe me, it makes a difference. Now, where the problem lies in these teachings is that they start to cross over into what, what they want to sell as the mystical. And so the mystical then becomes, if you visualize this and your key power and your internal energies and all these kind of things, you know, it's, it's a long way around a very simple process of visualizing. It's just a trick. It's all it is. A trick of the mind. If you get outside of that and make it look like it's something that it isn't, that's when it becomes, I wouldn't call it a cult, but it gets in the gray areas for me. I don't, I don't care for that because it's, you're selling something. And then if you end up being able to do it, then you're going to say, well, I can use the key power and he can't. But guess what? It's just where you got your head. And I'll tell you something else, before my knees, I have bad knees now, but back in the day when I would fight uh, with my guys and with guys from around the country, I used to tell myself, I said, there ain't no way in age that that guy's going to knock me down. I will not let him do it. He is not going to knock me down. And I'd get judo fighters and jiu-jitsu guys, and we'd start fighting, and they'd go right up to the sweep, and my leg wouldn't go anywhere. But that was, my mind's like, there ain't no way I'm going down. <laughs> now, that was the mindset I had. You know, now, it, but it wasn't, it wasn't, I wasn't saying I'm a tiger or I'm a tree, you know what I mean? Uh, now, if you have to say, if you have to say I'm a tree to get your mind there, that's okay, there's nothing occult about that. But as soon as someone says you are the tree and you are, you know, and you start going in that direction, it becomes religious. And that's where I have, the, that's where I see danger in that.